Hello, I'm Dr. Haroon Gadraj, Director of the Vein Care Centres in the southwest of England. I received a very interesting question via the website this week from a lady called Heather in Dorchester. She said that she'd had her veins treated 20 years ago and that they'd come back even worse than ever. Why was this? And could she have anything done about it? Well, about 30% of people I see now have already had uh, vein treatment and their veins have recurred. And there are three main reasons why this happens, Heather. The first is that they had inadequate treatment at the initial procedure. Uh, either they had the wrong procedure done or they had the correct procedure done incorrectly. Now let me explain a bit about that. In my opinion, everyone should have an ultrasound scan before they have anything done to their veins at all. An ultrasound will allow the specialist to look at the deep veins, the superficial veins and their connections. And with this information, the specialist will be able to identify the root cause of the vein problem. Once the specialist has this information, he can then formulate a treatment plan. It's also very important that the treatment itself is guided by ultrasound, actually during the procedure, so that the specialist can confirm that the correct veins are being treated. Also, after the treatment and at the follow-up visit, ultrasound should be used to confirm that the procedure that was intended has in fact been done satisfactorily. So, by using ultrasound in these three ways, at the initial assessment, during the procedure, and at the follow-up, you get better initial treatment. Now, the second reason why veins uh, can come back, Heather, is a process called neovascularization. Now, this is a fancy medical term just to say that the veins regrow after the older traditional procedures such as surgical stripping. Now until we had ultrasound scans readily available, surgeons didn't really believe that veins could regrow after they've been tied and removed. But we now know that this is a particular feature of surgical stripping and veins will regrow, the raw ends will want to regrow and rejoin and this is a very important cause of uh, recurrence. Fortunately, it's not a feature of the newer treatments that we have on offer. Now, the third reason uh, why veins recur is a genetic predisposition. Uh, unfortunately, uh, veins tend to run in families and people can inherit a weakness of their veins from their parents and there's very little you can do about that. However, um, there are things you can do in terms of lifestyle changes. Uh, you can watch your weight, perhaps avoid standing for long periods of time and you can consider wearing good quality medical grade compression hosiery. All these things will reduce the chances of veins recurring after satisfactory treatment. But there's nothing you can really do about any genetic predisposition to veins that you might have inherited from your parents. So there it is, Heather. Those are the three main reasons why veins uh, come back. And I think in your case, you probably had an inadequate procedure because 20 years ago we weren't using ultrasound scans uh, very widely and you had a procedure, surgical stripping, which does tend to stimulate neovascularization. Can you have more treatment? Well, yes, of course you can. If veins have recurred and you've got faulty valves in those veins uh, and you've got a condition called reflux, then we can identify that accurately with ultrasound and we can make sure that any future treatment is targeted uh, at those veins. So thank you for that question, Heather. That, uh, that's been um, one of the commonest questions I get asked, in fact, uh, and I'm glad to be able to help you with that. Now, if you have a question that you'd like to ask me, do please get in contact with me via the website. I'd love to hear from you. You can post your questions and I'll get back to you. Thank you for watching my video and I look forward to hearing from you soon.